Greetings Space Engineers, this is Commander Noodles and we're having a short, simple video today and what we're going through is a few people here, the, some of my viewers have actually asked me a few different questions, specifically one of them is when we create a new game, so we go new, go custom game and then we go into the star system and uh, we're going to label this test, uh, star system test, when we go into this game and they're going to survival mode and they choose all the information they need, what they find is there's no landing craft. And this is true, and I have done a bit of digging around and checking up with some people I know, and they have confirmed that this is a known bug that hopefully will be fixed soon. So what we're doing right now, as you can see, I've gone into the settings and I'm just going to disable spiders and disable wolves for the moment, um, unless you know exactly what you need to do and how to do it fast and efficiently, definitely recommend them turning them off. Go on the world generator, just like we did before in episode one, and make sure the floor is at least medium, because without medium, you're not going to get your boulders and infinite high for your asteroids. And then once we've got that done, we click on OK. So let's click on OK uh, for a much broader instructional tutorial. Watch episode one. It's still very valid. The only difference is up the top, you access the new game in a slightly different area. So right now we are loading into this brand new star system. And the reports that I've been given, and it's true, that when you start a new star system, there's nothing there. You're actually just hovering using your jetpack as we are now. Here we are. We're hovering. We're using our jetpack and there's nothing there. So we're going to hit X, turn the jetpack off, hit J, turn the helmet, open up the helmet. Hmm, nothing. We've got our tools. But we don't have anything else. So how do we fix this? Backspace key, and we'll come up with this option here. Do you want to commit suicide? Unfortunately, yes, we do. I am definitely a player that goes, I do not want to die unless there's no other option. There is no other option. So you die, you respawn, and then you get to your respawn screen here. Now what we have is we have several options. You have planetary lander, Mars planetary lander, alien planetary lander, respawn ship one, two, small drill ship escape pod, respawn ship three, and spacesuit. We were clearly just in the spacesuit. What we want is a planetary lander. And we hit, make sure that's selected, and then we go respawn. What's going to happen is it's now going to reload the game in the planetary lander. Um, in just a moment, here we go, there we are, we hit V, and we can, there we go. So now we are in the planetary lander. Bear in mind that um, you may be in a completely different location to the planet than you were before. Why is that doing that? Okay. So, my keyboard's playing up. But anyway, you get the idea. Um, so that is a very simple, quick and dirty way of fixing the problem where your planetary lander does not display. So if you um, have any of these problems, again, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll see what I can do. Actually, there's a body location right there. Um, I'll see what we can do about finding the right information for you. So load the game, create a star system. Once you're there, hit your backspace key. Suicide, load in your planetary lander, and there we go. Um, we should be good to go from that point. And if you need anything else, uh, don't hesitate to put down any questions, and we'll do what we can. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know. It's Commander Noodles signing out.